Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a stone removal procedure called percutaneous nephrolithotomy, or simply PCNL. The goal of this procedure is to remove all your kidney stones and, when present, ureteral stones. This animation shows the removal of stones in the kidney. PCNL is carried out under general anaesthesia. When you are fully sedated, a catheter, which is a hollow tube, is placed in the bladder. The bladder catheter drains the bladder and remains in place with the use of an inflated balloon. Another catheter is placed up into the ureter. Through this catheter, a contrast, dye, may be instilled to allow a better view and exact stone location and to facilitate access to the kidney while your urinary tract is visualized using x-rays or ultrasound. Once the stone is located, access to the collecting system of your kidney is gained using a thin needle. This access route is carefully dilated The guide wire allows the nephroscope to safely access the kidney. Some stones can be removed directly using a grasper. Larger stones need to be fragmented first using a device like a laser before extraction. After removal of all the stones, your surgeon will perform a contrast study. When there is good passage of contrast material to the bladder, this means that the ureter is also stone-free. In some patients, a temporary small tube called a double J stent may be placed to ensure that swelling does not block the drainage of the urine. The stent remains in place by J-shaped curls in both the kidney and bladder. At the end of the procedure, a nephrostomy may be placed this catheter helps to drain your urine. The catheters and stent are usually removed shortly after the procedure. You can leave the hospital once you are able to empty your bladder sufficiently and you have no fever or pain.